T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and I thought I'd make a quick episode for you today. It's not going to be the rockets to the moon, unfortunately. I'm going to try to record that this weekend, but I thought I'd make a little something-something real quick. As you all pretty much well know, some sort of arctic freeze is going over the U.S., and it's really cold outside, uh, probably in different places around the world as well, but... Yeah, and I work construction work, so I'm out in the thick of it. Which is one of the reasons why I'm trying to leave construction work. But hey, all in good time. So I thought I'd make a little something here. Um, you remember my anti-air hogging SSTOs? Well, I've kind of gone a little nuts with anti-air hogging SSTOs. Nothing wrong with air hogging, to each his own. But I thought it'd be, uh, it's really challenging to build one of these things to make it work. So this um, right here, Untitled Spacecraft, is the vehicle. It is not complete yet, but it works. And I think I'll name it the Sparrow Mark IV. All right, so here we are, the Sparrow Mark IV. Right off the bat, you can tell that it doesn't have an uber amount of air intakes. It's just the basic scoops, two on top, two on the bottom has the basic jet engine, not even the turbojet engine, and the four small probe-sized rockets. Also, you have a decoupler, or decoupler, whatever you like to say it as, for the escape pod and a parachute to save our Kerbal, just in case the highly likely event, something bad happens. And of course, it's a flying wing kind of design, which makes it look really nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly this thing and speed it up to about 400%. In which case, I will stop intermittently, intermittently, blah, I can't even say it, can't pronounce that correctly, uh, to um, give my 10 cents on what's going on. And hopefully we can get this video done in a reasonable amount of time. Now, right here, it's a little strange. I don't know exactly what's going on, but um, the engine, the basic jet engine, is still running even at full throttle, even though the thrust is dropping significantly. And I've only got 0 0.02 air intake. It's kind of strange. But it helps us, that's for sure, to get as much altitude as possible before it finally dies around 30,000 meters. So what you want to do now is hover your fingers over the 1 and 2 action group keys which will turn on the rocket engines while simultaneously turning off the jet engine and closing the air intakes. Now once you get up to about 75,000 meters, go ahead level out and get ready to do a orbital insertion burn. Now at this point you barely have enough fuel to do a whole lot, so you just want to keep on pushing that apoapsis in front of your craft very softly, bringing the thrust up and down ever so gently, and um, 
keeping your eye on the periapsis there, or perigee. Let's bring it up to about 70,000 meters for a full complete orbit. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are in orbit with a very small non-air hogging SSTO. Pretty cool. Now, of course, uh, let me go ahead and zoom out here. Show you what we got for the orbit. 71, 77. Nice. Now, if we're going to land this thing, we need to go ahead and start transferring leftover fuel to the very front of the craft. Like all, all um, older SSTO designs, your um, was that center of mass is way behind center of lift at this point. So if you plan on coming back to Kerbin, you better fix that. Now most of your leftover fuel is going to be in these small little fuel tanks in the back. That's no problem. Just go ahead and take a minute and empty them all out in the front fuel tank. All right, so here I am making the uh, deorbital maneuver node, and uh, hopefully we can make it back right on top of the Kerbal Space Center. Uh, still, still not a professional like nailing those landings. This is all pretty much guesswork. So right here what I've done is I've tried to glide most of the way to the space center before I have to activate the basic jet engine because I only have so much fuel to play with and as you can see the SAS is giving me a little bit of problems there. That's alright. We'll go ahead and fast forward.
and touchdown crowd goes wild well ladies and gentlemen there you have it a small non air hogging SSTO pretty cool <laughs> oh boy I'm tired yes sir and frozen like a popsicle mm-hmm all right well thank you so much for watching I know this is a pretty small video but hopefully we can get the rockets to the moon with the moon base and the moon well, I can't say Jeep that's right moon dirt cat up to the moon this weekend all right well thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed I am Veos signing off <laughs>